Every day, more than 300 million coins are exchanged worldwide. From dollars and pesos to euros and yen, coins are the universal symbol of money. We use them daily to pay for all sorts of things, from a simple coffee to a bus ticket. But have you ever wondered how they're actually made? Are they made of gold and silver as many believe? Well, today we're traveling to Philadelphia, United States, home to the largest mint on the planet, where over a million coins are produced every hour, ready to enter circulation. So get ready, because you're about to discover how one of the world's most used and desired objects is mass-produced. Let's begin. Step number one, design creation. Designing a coin is no easy task. Each coin has its own identity. It doesn't just serve to buy things, it also represents the country's history, which makes its design a very important factor. At the Mint, a team of industrial designers works with 3D software to create the first sketches. Every detail is decided here, the diameter, thickness, edges, and of course, the face or symbol that will be engraved. The coin's value is also defined based on the country's needs, whether more change is required, if banknotes will be replaced, or if it's part of a special series. Many dollar coins feature portraits of presidents or historical figures like George Washington or Abraham Lincoln, while in countries like Mexico, it's common to see the national emblem with the eagle devouring a snake or figures from revolutionary history. Once the design and value of each coin are defined, a giant wax model is created up to 30 centimeters in diameter. This model allows for clear appreciation of the reliefs, shapes, and possible imperfections. It's then digitally scanned and reduced with high-precision machines to reach its actual size. When everything is approved, it's time to take the design to the factory and begin the mass production of coins. Here we go! Step number two, material arrival. Although many still believe it, coins are not made of gold or silver. In reality, they are manufactured with much cheaper but equally resistant metals copper, nickel, zinc, manganese, or even steel, depending on the coin's value. These metals arrive at the factory in giant coils, resembling enormous rolls of paper, but made of metal. Some weigh over 9 tons and contain hundreds of meters of continuous sheet. Once inside the plant, these coils are placed into automatic presses that unroll and cut them to obtain sheets of the exact thickness. Then, these sheets pass through an industrial blanking press where they are precisely cut to form thousands of flat metal discs, known as blanks. Each type of coin requires a blank with specific measurements and composition, so everything is controlled to the millimeter. These industrial machines can produce up to 14,000 discs per hour, all perfectly identical in size, weight, and thickness. To prevent any errors, each batch is analyzed with x-rays to check its density and composition. Each of these discs is a future coin, but for now, they are nothing more than simple flat metal circles without any value. Step number three, the discs. Take shape. Once cut, the smooth, valueless metal discs are about to be transformed. First, they enter enormous industrial ovens where they are heated to over 500 degrees Celsius to slightly soften the material. Then, operators move them to a precision press that adjusts their exact diameter calibrates the thickness and gives them their characteristic raised rim. That raised rim isn't just for aesthetics. In reality, it serves a key function to protect the engravings that will later be made on both sides of the coin. Thanks to this small relief, coins can withstand years of use, drops, and wear without the details fading or losing their original shape. Depending on the type of coin, some have smooth edges, others serrated, and in certain cases, tiny inscriptions or invisible micro-engravings are even added. These elements function as a security system to prevent counterfeiting, and some can only be seen under ultraviolet light or with specialized equipment. But before engraving the designs and numbers, the discs must be spotless. For this, they are submerged in large industrial tanks with special detergents and acids, which eliminate any particles, metallic residue, or impurities. Then, they are dried with compressed air until they are completely shiny and ready for the big moment. Step number four. The engraving. We've reached the most important part of the process, coining. This is where a simple metal disc officially transforms into a real coin. Each blank, now clean and calibrated, is placed between two hardened steel dies, one with the design for the obverse and the other for the reverse. 
At that instant, a colossal hydraulic press springs into action and, in milliseconds, applies a force of over 150 tons, precisely stamping the engraving onto each coin. A single coining line can stamp more than 750 coins per minute, which translates to over 45,000 per hour, all passing through a high-speed optical sensor system that detects any defects. If a coin shows even the slightest error, such as a misaligned stamp or incorrect pressure, it is automatically discarded. And so, in a fraction of a second, what was once just a valueless metal disc becomes real money. But before going out into the world, each coin must pass through one last meticulous quality control. Let's go! Step number 5. Inspection and Quality Control Even though thousands of coins have already been stamped, that doesn't mean they're ready to go out into the world. Before official approval, they must pass one of the most demanding filters in the entire process – quality control. Each coin travels along a high-speed conveyor belt, where it's analyzed again by a system of optical sensors and high-resolution cameras. These devices scan every detail – the engraving, the shine, the alignment of the dies, and any surface defects. If an error is detected, no matter how minor, the coin is automatically removed and sent for melting to recycle the metal. Additionally, expert operators manually inspect samples from each batch to ensure everything is perfect. Only coins that meet the strictest standards continue on their way, and now that they've passed all the tests, it's time to count them, package them, and store them under strict security. Step number 6. Counting and Packaging Once quality control is passed, the approved coins are grouped by the thousands and pass through automatic counting systems that use high-precision scales. The entire process is controlled to the millimeter, with no margin for error. Each batch is packaged in canvas bags or reinforced metal boxes, with an exact quantity that can exceed 50,000 coins depending on their value. Each package is assigned a label with the manufacturing date, coin type, and lot number. Not only that, but every movement is digitally recorded allowing for complete traceability. If any defective coin were to appear in circulation, it would be possible to trace it back to the exact day and the specific machine that minted it. Once packaged, the coins are stored in high-security vaults within the mint itself, where over 100 million coins can be kept at the same time. Cameras in every corner, motion sensors, restricted access, and 24-hour surveillance make this place a true armored fortress. It's literally one of the most protected sites in the world, all to safeguard something as commonplace as simple coins. Now that the coins are ready and perfectly stored, the final moment arrives, distributing them throughout the country. Step number 7. Final Distribution and Lifespan From the security vaults, the coins begin their final journey. Packaged, registered, and escorted, they travel in armored trucks to banks, logistics centers, supermarkets, toll booths, gas stations, and even vending machines. Others are stored as monetary reserves, ready to be used during times of high demand or economic crises. A single coin can change hands over a thousand times throughout its useful life. In 2023 alone, the United States Mint produced over 12.4 billion coins in a single year, a truly staggering figure. What's most surprising is that this exact process is repeated in almost every country around the world. Pesos, euros, yen, reais, all those currencies we use daily in more than 190 countries follow an almost identical path, from initial design to mass circulation. To conclude, tell us, did you imagine the entire coin manufacturing process? What currency is used in your country? Let us know your answer in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and hit the bell to not miss out on more impressive manufacturing processes.